Okay, in this video we're going to go over the axial skeleton. Now I won't be covering all of the specific bones that I have listed out on your sheet, uh, just a lot of the general ones. Um, some of the more specific, uh, like the articular facets and stuff like that, um, on the vertebrae, I won't really be able to give you a clear picture of on this video, so I'm going to cover uh, all of the major bones. So let's get started. Um, I'll start here kind of with the hyoid bone. Uh, and that's, this is on uh, page 154, I believe, in your book. But this whole bone right here, it almost looks like, you know, if this guy's head were right here, it almost looks like it would almost be his Adam's apple. That is the hyoid bone. This is the greater horn of the hyoid, hyoid bone, and this is the lesser uh, horn of the hyoid bone. Uh, going down, this whole structure, let me back up so you can see it a little bit better, this whole structure is the sternum. From like here to here is the manubrium. From here to about here is the body of the sternum. It's important to note that it's body of the sternum, not just the body. And then right here is the xiphoid process. A process is a bony prominence that you can, or a notch that you can kind of grab onto. Uh, so in general, if you see something like this where you can grab onto it, it's a process. So it's a xiphoid process, body of the sternum, manubrium. Um, these, they're, hopefully you can see, it's a little bit of a, maybe a darker yellowish uh, color. This is cartilage, and it's specifically costal cartilage uh, in the thoracic cavity here. These are all the ribs and everything. Uh, whenever you do CPR and you're doing chest compressions, this costal cartilage is actually what fles uh, flexes and uh, moves to um, palpate the heart. Uh, ribs. All right. You have seven true ribs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then you have three false ribs. One, two, three. And then you have two floating ribs. Get down underneath here so you can kind of see a little bit better. One, two. And you can kind of see, maybe as I move around, see how this isn't attached and this isn't attached. How I go about remembering this is I find the two floating ribs and then I count up three. So I go one, two, three, and I put my finger in between there. I know anything above this is gonna be a true rib. Anything, these bottom three are gonna be uh, false ribs. And then these two just floating there are gonna be floating ribs. Uh, moving around to the back. You have on this is this whole thing is the vertebral column, right? From here on up, it's a fancy word for the spine. The very top one, uh, top set, are your cervical vertebrae, right? And there's seven of them: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These seven up are your cervical vertebrae. From going down, these next twelve: one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, to right here. These are your thoracic vertebrae. The bottom five, one, two, three, four, five, are going to be your thoracic vertebrae. The way I remember this is I wake up at seven for work, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I go to lunch at 12, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And then I get off and go home at five. One, two, three, four, five. So that's how I remember that. Hopefully that'll work for you. Um, another thing to kind of note, the cervical vertebrae are going to be the only one where the spinous process is bifid. Hopefully you can kind of get in there and see how that's, that's broken apart right there. Let me focus on it a little bit better. See how there's a clear difference between that and say, you know, like that for instance. The thoracic vertebrae are going to curve down because this part of your back is arched. And then the, or I'm sorry, yeah, the thoracic vertebrae are gonna curve down. Your lumbar, um, your L1 through five, are gonna look like you can just about grab onto it, you know, and hold onto it. So that's how you can distinguish between uh, the differences in the vertebrae. Let me come around to the side. So you can kind of see the difference going up. See? 
just like that. The Atlas C1 is on top. It has its own name. C1 is called the Atlas. C2 is called the Axis. And we'll zoom in on those a little bit later. I have them uh, spread out there. So those are the, <clears throat> the vertebrae. Below the vertebrae, this right here, I'll zoom out so you can see these, would be like your hips right here. This is the sacrum. And then about right here, down, this right here, this is the coccyx. That right there is the coccyx. So vertebral column on up, sacrum here to here, coccyx. And that's about it in general for the larger structures of the vertebral column and uh, the ribs and chest.